Now, India is ready to launch its most sophisticated communication satellite named GSAT N2 using SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket. Now, this is made by ISRO, and this 4,700 kilogram satellite was too heavy for Indian rockets. The satellite, when operational, will provide data or internet services to remote areas and will enable availability of internet in airplanes as well. NDTV science editor Palak Bagla spoke to Dr. M. Sankaran, the director of the UR Rao Satellite Center, for details. I have with me Dr. M. Sankaran, the director of the UR Rao Satellite Center. Namaskar, Dr. Sankaran. Thanks a lot for speaking to us. Uh, what is special about the GSAT-20 and what new capability will this satellite give us? GSAT-20 is going to be uh, truly high throughput satellite, India's uh, highest throughput satellite, which is uh, de designed for a 48 uh, Gbps uh, kind of throughput. Uh, this satellite is uh, working in both the user link as well as the hub link in KA band, which uh, gives us uh, additional bandwidth and additional capacity. So that's why with only about 4.7 ton, we are able to achieve 48 kbps, uh, which was the specification, and the realized number is uh, more than 60 gbps. And what is special? It will be able to give us satellite-based internet connectivity to uh, remote places and what? This is going to give high throughput data. Any any type of data can be uh, transferred through this satellite throughout the Indian uh, subcontinent. But this satellite is also designed for uh, in-flight connectivity, uh, which is uh, going to be the first of uh, service for Indian continent. Once this is operational, India can also have in-flight connectivity. That is, you can work on your mobiles and laptops uh, when you are in flight. Meaning that is one gap we have. See, whenever we go into a flight, once we switch off the phone or go into aeroplane mode, we have no internet available in India. So you are filling a very big gap which exists in India. Yes. This is, a, if you see the global map of in-flight connectivity, there will be a big hole around uh, India. The rest of the uh, world will be covered by some service provider. This, uh, this gap is now being filled, and uh, the service provider who is going to use this uh, capacity in GSAT-20 will be able to make this operational quickly. 